Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, today I am here with a brand new video, this is Minecraft Bedrock Edition Survival Gameplay Series, Episode 5, in my channel. Previously, I have played in this world in the Episode 1, 2, 3, and 4. Last time, I had the goal to build the walls, main door, and front windows of the house I am currently building, but today, I have the goal, to build the rooms of the first floor and two staircases leading towards the second floor. So without any further waste of time, let's get started. So this is the spruce wood house I am currently building in this survival series of Minecraft Bedrock Edition, I need to build the rooms of the first floor. There will be two equally sized rooms in the first floor and also two equally sized staircases for going to the second floor. I will also build the ceiling of the first floor. Then in the next episode, I will start working on the second floor. So, to build the room walls I need cobblestone and spruce wood. Now, I have a bunch of spruce wood logs in my chest in the camp I made in the first episode of this series. But I don't have enough cobblestones. Since my stone pickaxe has almost full durability and I have another stone pickaxe in my inventory, I will go to my old cobblestone mine to mine a bunch of cobblestone. So let's head towards the cobblestone mine. Now let's get started with mining cobblestone. Okay guys, I am done with mining cobblestone. Now I have to start building the room walls in my house. So let's get started with this. The two rooms will be on both two sides of the wall, making a hallway in the middle in front of the main door. So this small space right here is for the staircase. A same type of space is also present in the opposite side of this for the other staircase. So let's build the ceiling of the rooms at first. Then I will go for the two staircases. Okay so I am done with the ceiling of the first room. The room is now full of darkness. I will light up the room using torches now, and I will replace the torches with lanterns later on for decoration. But lighting up a dark room in your Minecraft base or house is very important because monsters can spawn in dark rooms. Before I build the ceiling of the second room, I would like to build the ceiling of the hallways at first. Now I have decided to build the staircase. So let's do it as well. But it looks like I ran out of spruce wood. Therefore, I will get spruce wood from my chest. And I forgot to light up the hallways with torch, so I did it now. And now I have decided to build the ceiling of the second room as well. So the night time is here, I need to go to bed before I am under the attack of night monsters. I killed a spider on my way to bed. The spider gave me a little XP. After waking up from sleep, a few zombies started to attack me while burning in the sun. So I did a hitless fight with these zombies. And I used my iron sword to fight them. I crafted this iron sword in the previous episode of this series. And now I have decided to move my furnitures from the camp to my house. 
So I will break my furnace, smoker and crafting table to my house. I will move the chest later. Moving the chest is a difficult task. I have to move all of the items from the chest to the house. I am also expanding the windows to cover the full wall of the room. Now let's place down the furnitures in this room. I am crafting some doors for my rooms. Each room will have a double door. Okay, now let's finish the staircase. I have decided to decorate the hallway by making some kind of doorways using the stairs and wooden planks. And I will also place some planks here to make them look like tables. I will place flower pots on them for decoration. These two tables doesn't look good. I think I should break them. In this room, I can make a closet in the place under the staircase. This will help to use the maximum space possible in the house. I will make this closet in both of the rooms. This place is right under the staircase. This can be used for storage or armor stands. It is better to have one of these. Let's place two stairs up here, and two doors like this and the closet is finished. For now, I will place only a torch in the closet. Now let's make the same closet in the second room. I have left the place hollow under the staircase. So making the closet will be easier. The cobblestone and wood planks in the same level of the wall is looking bad. Guess what? I can't fix it properly now. Maybe in the next episode, I will fix that. Okay so let's complete making this closet just like I did in the first room. And yes, I am going to expand these windows up to the corner. Guys, if you don't like the way I am designing and building the house, you can help me fix the issues by letting me know in the comments. Now let's craft some glass panes and finish making the windows. Same for the other side. Okay, so we are almost done I guess. Now it's time to do the difficult task. That is, moving the large chest from the camp to my house. I have to struggle a little bit, but I guess I can do it properly. I just broke half of the chest and I got almost all of the items from it. Okay, now I have to take this chest to my house. I don't have much time because the items dropped there have 5 minutes time before disappearing. So let's do this quickly.
Okay, now let's pick up all of the items dropped there. I also have to bring the other half of the chest to my house. Fine, now all of the items are safe. Now the chest is finally moved to the house. Now, I also have to take the bed to my house. Because, I cannot call this house my home until I don't have my bed in this house. The game itself considers the bed as a home. The chest has now all the items it had before. Now, I will complete making the closet in the second room. There were no doors. So I will place the doors. Another idea came in my mind. What if I build another doorway over here? It may add some details to the house. Let's do it and see. Feels good to me. What about you guys? Please give your feedback in the comments. So with all of this, I think I have achieved today's goal. And that means this episode has reached its end. So now it's time to end this episode. But wait guys, I forgot one more thing. The bed, yes the bed hasn't been moved to the house. So let's do it now without any further waste of time. Let's take the bed to the house. So that I can finally call it my home. Okay, so the bed is in its position. Therefore, all of today's work is finished. So now I am sure that I have achieved today's goal and it is time to end today's episode. Guys, if you don't like the way I build and design my house, then I am sorry. I would like to know what you say about it. So leave your comments in this video's comment section. If you liked today's episode, please leave a like on this video. And subscribe my channel to get the best of my channel. Feel free to say anything in the comments. I will try to reply. And guys, if you like to create this world of Minecraft Bedrock Edition, you can. The world seed in Minecraft Bedrock version is provided in the video description. So, that's all for today, thank you very much for watching till the end. Goodbye.